Hello and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Doki Doki, of course, is an onomatopoeia for heartbeat. And when does your heart beat faster? When you're scared. <laughs> so, this is day eight. Technically day two, second time around. Um, so let's see what goes down this time. All right. Hi again, Mace. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Ah, uh, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me. <laughs> a little strange. But at least I kept keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Um, Thanks for keeping your promise, Mace. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to drag be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Uh... <laughs> Monica, you're kind of in the way. Um, I think that she's saying, Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for so someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. But, but... Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying manga and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Mace. I'm sure it will make sure to keep your put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Nats, Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Uh, well... Is it just me or is the room tilted? <laughs> I think the room's tilted. <laughs> okay, uh, like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, I forget I said anything, I guess. No, it's not that, Yuri. I, I want to try to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book. I want to too. Are you sure? No, the whole thing, the whole screen is tilted. I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Or is it zooming in? I think it's zooming in. Yeah, it's zooming in. See this corner here? It's slowly zooming in. That's what's happening. It's tilting, too. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't. I don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it might. It should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This. This is. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like. Despite. I mean, Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. <laughs> now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off with some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! I hear Natsuki unexaxperated a sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. <laughs> Sorry, Christopher walking in there. Oh, right. you looking for something in there? Oh, <laughs> oh crap! What was the voice that I chose for her? Um, it was she or Goreth. <laughs> Father whacking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is going to just mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of uh, stacked books and history uh, books across the self shelf. But notice, history, freaking Monica is what she said, according to the history. Manga, manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things you can't really admit you're really into it until you figure out what, where another person stands. How did, how did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Your face, literally, on your face, it says, I like manga. China. 
<laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on one side of the, one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns to a box of manga and flips the, slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I, I know that feel, bro. I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. Probably means it's either out of my way out of my demographic, I'm not a 12-year-old girl, or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you might as well do it through the glass on that door. She points it to the points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging her or anything. I didn't even say anything. There's a tone of your voice, but I'll tell you one thing, Mace. Consider this a lesson straight from the. <laughs> Don't judge a book. KKK, that's not good. <laughs> I can't do a good Shiagora, but you'll get the idea. In fact, Yuri pulls out the first volume of the of Parfait Girls from the box. And history says, don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She subs the book right in my hands. Ah. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poises. poses. Uh, yeah. It's exceedingly... Moe. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Or, uh, alternately Mo Howard of the Three Stooges. <laughs> it's exceedingly Mo. Hey, shout ahead. Wake up and go to sleep. Okay. Don't just stand there. Wah. Netsuki grabs my arm and has pulled me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling for me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Oh, why's that? I guess it's either they're close together like this. But don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki, Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. She smells nice. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she well, she hopes I didn't notice. I could feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and again? Not really. Maybe sometimes excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like nothing, it's a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. Kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make, make up for the lack of plot. That's sort of a fourth wall break. Oh, hey, look at that. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, because thumbnails and all. Uh, hmm? Hmm? You don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do, you... what do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Just taking a bunch of different ones to see which one I like. Jeez. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh. Like, I could get any of my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. I, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm really kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. Which is why I'm sitting next to you, loser. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Uh, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> I, mean, I, feel, I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would probably break the shit out of me if he found this! Uh, at least it's safe here in the club room. Of course, history says, I mean, 
I don't know what my dad would do if he would find if he would if he found this. <laughs> Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Oh, I can't win, can I? Well, it, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Well, maybe. But any, uh, at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, uh, so? Ha ha ha. Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah, I flipped the page. Time passes. Natsuki's staying strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. So take a screenshot of that, too. Looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki! Yeah? That's another good one. Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey, hey! I should probably take a screenshot of this, too, just in case. Okay, I can't even read any of that. Oh, wow, it's actually in the history, too. Oh! That's the piano. The piano is glitched out. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. Music's gone, too. She throws in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to move. She doesn't even find her, finish her sentence before stuffing it in her mouth. Don't worry, Mace. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's do Monica first. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Mace. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. I need to take a screenshot of that. I'm always listening. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, Mace. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Mace. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Haha. <laughs> okay. Jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Okay. If you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Ha ha ha. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down, like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls, you know. Sorry, just trying to look on the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I, I see. Well, anyway, let's read it. Oh. Okay, yeah, hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper. The sound of frantic scrawling plays tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. 
So I'm going to take a screenshot of this because you can't really get these poems after the game is over. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really not the right person to ask for feedback. Huh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of my that kind of style has gotten really popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What what was the inspiration behind this one? Um Well I'm not sure how if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been kind of an influence by my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right, let's show it to Yuri. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh. Sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Or, yeah. Why, why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess it might be better after reading through it. Oh, it might, I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No. I, did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri bears her face in her hands. Several minutes we haven't gotten anywhere. Might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What, what were you saying? Right, um, I just... It's just that there's specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned up to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, form fit the two together, the end result is that both style and expressiveness are weakened, uh, stam her stammering is gone, she sounds like an expert, of course it's not something you can be blamed for, there are many writing skills, simple poem, building, take you some time, practice, all blah blah blah. That's giving me a little bias though. Bias how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's... Nah, let's keep it. Mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri f smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, this is the same as her first one. I I'm, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? No! <laughs> Took a long time to read it. Uh, don't read script. I usually think your handwriting is awesome. Whatever. You're cool. You're really, really cool. Writing poems. Glad you like it. I'll be honest. First time sharing. More mild. Easily digested. You need to ghosts. Haha. <laughs> no. It's not a ghost. Call the Ghostbusters. Missed the point. Glance over it. Poems. Poets. Usually do the Paint a picture. Lingering her last minute. Yeah, let go of the past. Less but nothing. Or solemn. Sort of symbolic of other characters in the game, maybe. That's impressive. It's nothing. Makes me happy. Yeah, maybe you're right. I was trying. Counting on you. That's interesting, actually. That exchange. To pick up She's counting on us to pick up on things. Anyway, let's show Natsuki. Okay, well, let's start the, with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Oh, well, what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, 
In fact, I remember I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. The, well, I, I, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem make me go, Oh, well, that's not great. We'll show you what we, we, we ruined it. You, you know, I hope you're happy. Uh, so in other words, you're saying you liked it? Or... <laughs> Uh, you're you're so you're just you don't understand you know just I, I, I that, don't 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 like doing stuff. I'm pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly myself. That's you must really hate me or something. Oh wait, this is new, I guess. Um, I already told you that you don't have to sound like you're so important. I mean, this is not really that insignificant. You want to show me yours? Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Yep. Yeah. Told you that you wouldn't really like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Human poems. I like it. <laughs> anyway. What? Just be honest. I am. Why, why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks... Writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the po po point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is it picks, puts more weight on wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it may fall flat on purpose. That was bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. Yeah, that's what it means to be, means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, yeah? I guess not. Decide to humor for her. Don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, I won't take that away from her. Alright. Phew. I guess that's everyone. Glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Since everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to there. Did you hear that? Dang it. The music went a little weird. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I sigh. I guess what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica's writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri Natsuki. They gingerly exchange piece of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyes furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism of something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I, I just meant the language, I guess. It was trying to say something nice. Yeah? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really doesn't come out of the night. Uh, uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Mace did too. So based on that, I'll glad to give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Don't accept, expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Mace liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Um, you, you're you just... Your Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Mace appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Uh, how, how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you, are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would try to deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly really cutesy. Uh, well, you know what? I wasn't the one who boobs mag whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Mace Stun is showing up. Natsuki! Uh, um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. 
Me? Well, look who's talking, you wannabe edgy bitch! Edgy? Sorry, my, my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people get to learn over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove you're anything to stop harassing others with your sickening attitude, you think you can counterbalance your toxic personality by just dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. And the music's going nuts. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What? What? <laughs> what the farkin' wangle is wrong with your head? Yeah, go go on. It makes him everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels after you for this. Yeah, you, whatever. Duh. Suddenly, Yuri turns to me as though she just noticed I was standing there. Mace, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How do I? How, it's not. I, who, whoever. I, of course. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's go, Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki. <laughs> Sack time. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Yuri. <laughs> um. Hey, Mace. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Oh, that's interesting. That the text isn't, like, behind her. It's next to her. Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Uh-huh. Some present I am, right? Can't even confront my own club members properly. Just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend more time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth on her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Mace, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Ooh. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me as though she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around or something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't want to get I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Mace. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate you under do Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> That's the end of day eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's the end of day eight. Uh, thanks for watching. Something tells me Monica's uh, saying that she didn't have a choice um, wasn't so much of, I don't have a choice, I have to leave. It was, I don't have a choice, um, I have to end the... Basically, I'm suspecting Monica has some control. <laughs> I know Monica has some control, is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's obvious that Monica has some sort of control. Anyway, what am I doing? I know everything already.
Anyway, let's write this poem. Papa. Um, spinning. Twirl. Poof. Hair. Um, journey. Unrequited. Incapable. Party. Childhood. Bliss. Fluffy. Depression. <laughs> Silly. Family. Dazzle. Smile. Adventure. Um. Yeah, let's do that one. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, join me next time. We'll have some more exciting adventures. They keep putting that poster up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Things are only gonna get weird. <laughs>